Welcome to another video by yours truly, Tony Solo. Before I get into what I'm gonna talk about today, which is texting or what to send on the first text, I need to tell you about this horrendous story that I have about sending the first text to a woman and having her completely just not send anything back. I remember some years ago, I was, you know, just experimenting with sending women text and I decided that, you know what, since I've been sending all these text messages, women haven't been given back to me, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna do something clever. I'm going to send a text and I'm gonna build a story in her mind, in her imagination, so she can just feel like, fuck, I wanna go see this guy. So what did I do? I started to just write down over and over some things that we could have done. I was like, you know what, uh, should we do this? No, 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 and I would erase it. Then I would just send something small, like, no, it's not enough to pull her into her imagination. And then it got longer and longer and longer to the point where I had a phone at the time where you could only send a certain amount of characters. I exceeded that limit, which means that, well, I hit that limit and I couldn't send anything else. And I noticed that it was a whole fucking page of stuff. And I went, I was looking at it like, yeah, this is the thing that she's going to like. She's going to like this because I'm building a story around me and her going for a walk and going to go do this. I forgot what I did, but I remember the feel of it. It was like going for a walk and getting to know each other and laughing and, and having romance. It was, so, <laughs> it was so much that I sent it and I literally thought this was clever. Just so clever. This woman that I spoke to in person, we had a great interaction. We did. But that woman never wrote me or saw me again, ever. And I never saw her again. I actually don't remember her face now, but I remember at the time, just me wanting to see her so bad. That long text that I sent, I literally thought that was clever. I thought that was gonna get her to see me. That was my definition at the time of like a, a wonderful first text because it had personality behind it. I was showing her that we were going to go on an adventure. I was building all these things up in her mind so she could be like, you know what? I want to see this guy. Only for me to be frustrated, to feel like I've done all that I can do. Why isn't this working? But what it also gave me insight into it's the difference between being eager with the first text and simply being excited with the first text. These are two different arenas that I'm going to tell you guys about right now. And it's going to be able to give you insight into, you know what, Tony, I have been being, I have been eager in my first text or I would like to try excited or I have been excited and I'm glad that I've stopped being eager. Whatever it may be for you, there needs to be a difference in the way that you're sending that first text. I really want to go into right now eagerness because eagerness will be the thing that will make a woman flake. Make sure you remember that eagerness makes a woman flake. If she can sense in that first text that you send, that you need to see her, that you've been waiting to see her. This is energetically speaking. And you just can't wait and you just are texting her a lot or you're doing too much. You're investing too much. She will feel off about you. She will feel like you're coming across as desperate. She will not want to see you. I remember in the beginning when I was texting girls and with each girl, and I had so many girls I was texting in the beginning because I was getting so many numbers, <laughs> but none, none of them were converting to anything. But I was getting so many numbers, and I was texting girl after girl after girl after girl after girl with these texts where I'm trying to see them right away. I'm trying to just cut through the bullshit. I have this attitude where, you know what, I don't want to, we don't have to go through this. Let's just see each other. You know what, I want to see you, you want to see me, you like me, I like you. Let's do it. And I will always have these texts where it would be trying to make things happen right away or trying to just get there. Instant gratification, just trying and trying and trying. I didn't know that I was coming across as eager. I didn't know 
that that would cause women to not want to see me again. I didn't know that. I was just trying. That's why I want to give you this video. That's why I want to give you the insight into making sure that you are excited over eager. I mean, excited over eagerness. Because when you're coming from a different place, the woman will respond differently. As you come from eagerness, the woman will feel naturally she wants to pull back. Because what does eagerness tell her? It tell her that you are too invested and that is putting off. That's really letting her know that you're the type of man that's much like the guy who's going to be telling her too early that you love her. Who's going to be telling her things too early that she would say, yeah, that could have waited. You're, you're the one that's going to be eager to get her home, eager to do things and not enjoying the experience. You're not with the experience, you're ahead of the experience. But why are you ahead of, uh, ahead of the experience? Has eagerness triggered? It's triggered through the stories that we tell ourselves before we see the woman. Stories like this. She likes me, so she'll meet me. This woman is going to have sex with me because I can tell in person that she was really into me. Or me and her had a great connection. We had a great connection. It, it was not like the other girls. This one is different. This one is special. This one is unique. So this woman is going to see me. This type of attitude that you have, this eager type of attitude, is the reason why she will feel uh, this is not the way that I felt about this. This mm, it seems a bit different than what I remember. Because remember, she's going off the feeling of what you were like more so than the thoughts. Thoughts are just fleeting for her, but the feeling is where the thought is going to be manifested from. Those stories that you tell yourself, these are the things that are going to block you when it comes to sending that first text and having her want to see you again because when you are over eager, when you feel eager, it controls you. When you tell yourself these stories, it controls you. It builds in a certain neediness in you. It builds in, so to speak, this promise that something is going to happen. And I remember so many times just being there in front of women and just feeling like this promise that, that's there. Feeling like because she said that right now she's going to meet me again or right now that it feels like we're interested in each other. Because this is happening, I feel that we're automatically going to meet. Or because she said yes right now, we're automatically going to meet. And I was the furthest from knowing the feminine essence. How the feminine essence can be one way right now, but another moment be totally different. I was just operating from this masculine view of just, she said yes, so that means it's going to be fixated. She says yes, so that means that it's going to stay the same. So many of the times, it's just a misunderstanding of when a woman says yes the misunderstanding of it. I had to start to see, you know what? There's something different about this. There's something different about the fact that, okay, right now, everything is happening well, but the texting, it seems like I'm losing her through text or something. Then I started to understand that I'm not losing her through text, I'm losing her through the eagerness and the stories that I built with her in person. So if you really want to understand, you know what, Tony, how can I stop being eager? You need to understand that the stories that you want to build in person, these must be left alone. You can't continue to engage in the story because if you engage in the story, the eagerness will control you. As you send the first text, you'll be already thinking about, okay, we're going to do this and we're going to have sex and this is going to happen. Everything that hasn't been actually done, it'll feel like it's real and that this is the one that's going to happen. And to the point where you would be there in the first text and you'll be, uh, lovely to meet you, da 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 this, da 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 this, uh, tonight let's meet at seven, this place is open, have you ever heard of it? Now sending all of that in one text is eagerness. That comes across to her like this is too much. I haven't even give myself a chance to warm up to you. You 
are just a guy who just met me. Yes, you were nice. I enjoyed you. But this seems like I have to invest too much when I don't want to. This seems like too much to do. There's been times, yes, where it's worked for me. It's worked where I've done that and then the girl's giving me a response and she was just very happy to see me again. Yes, that's happened. But majority of the times, it's led to, I gotta work tomorrow. Tonight I have to do this. I wanna get up early. It's led to things like this and I was going, all right, well, since that's it, that happened, then right away in the next text, I would send, what about tomorrow? Well, and then she would go, well, tomorrow I got to do this. And then I will continuously do that to the point where it just went cold. Does it sound like you? Does it sound like you're the person that's really eager? So the eagerness is controlling you. It's making you send texts that you don't want to send. Well, you do want to send it, but it's making you send it in a way where energetically it's coming across to her as desperate or that you are overinvested. So that is giving her a weird feeling about you. Women understand the energy of overinvestment. They do. They understand the energy of a man who is too much into something. And he haven't, he's, he haven't even known the answer, but he's too much into it. She's seen it through movies. She's dealt with men much longer than we've dealt with women. Absolutely she have. She know what it's like for a man to be overinvested into something. This is why women are so good at being able to point out players and guys who are not. Simply because they can feel the energy of a man. They can feel the energy of the text when he sends it. Because guess what? They're in an energetic plane all their life. They're the feminine essence. They're in an energetic plane all of their life. So they can feel the energy much more sensitively than we can. We send a text and we're like, you know what? I was just trying to make it seem like this. But then the woman is, it didn't, the woman goes, it didn't come across like that at all. It just came across like you wanted to see me too much and I felt weird about it, so I didn't want to see you. She wouldn't say that to you, but that's what she would say to you. There is a way though that you can start to send text. You don't have to send text anymore. And I would say don't send text anymore that are over eager. Over eager text, texts that are too long. The first text, when it's too long, that comes across as eagerness. That comes across as needy, as guys would say. Text that's already trying to get her on the first date before you have any involvement in her life, that comes across as eager. Start to look at, you know what? When I'm sending a woman this text, am I coming across eager or excited? The way you know is look at the length of it. The way you know is look at the energetic feel behind it. Am I trying to, you know, convince her to see me? Am I trying to build a story so that we, we two can see each other? These are clear indicators into if the text is going to be good for her when she receives it. But what about excitement? This is the place to operate from. I want you to operate from excitement. There's nothing wrong with you being excited by a woman. There's so many times where I see women walking down the street where I'm excited. I saw a woman walking earlier and I saw her walking earlier here, didn't walking earlier like 20 minutes ago or something like that. And I was excited when I saw her because she was really the epitome of beauty to me. Like the way she walked and it's like the way she looked, it was, it was exciting for me to see. And I was excited by her. And I'm unafraid of the fact that I am excited by a woman. When I see certain women and uh, let's say that I'm, I'm going to go on a date, I'm excited when I go on a date. I am excited. I am. What's wrong with being excited? Nothing at all. You can be excited by a woman. You can go, I like that girl. Fuck, she was great. Simply that though. Excitement doesn't have a residue of story. Because when you're excited, you're not building stories. You're going with the energy that was actually there. You're going with the realness of what really happened. Eagerness is a story attached. I would say eagerness is excitement plus attachment. That's what eagerness is. Excitement without attachment is what you want to start to move toward. 
that brings me into also another story that I have about um, <sighs> horrendous texting and how it, <laughs> it makes an impact on the woman is I remember I was trying out <laughs> I was trying out texts to send women and as I was trying out these texts I went you know what I'm going to send the one because at the time I was just looking at all these text things online and I'm like all right that's a good text to send all right that one's a good one to send and I found one that was like I saw you last night looking in my window or something don't be something with a wink face and it was Really weird now that I look back on it, but at the time, I really thought this shit was good. And I sent that to the girl on the first text, first text, excited by it, really. I was excited by it. I wasn't eager, but I was excited to send this text because I thought this was gonna get the girl. Then, the next text taught me why to never send texts like that. She said to me, um, this is weird, lose my number. Hard, huh? It was hard to feel for me at the time because when I sent it, I remember walking down the street being excited. And then when I saw the text, my, my smile went from this to, I put it away and I kept walking like, was that text really that bad? I mean, I saw it online. They were talking about text a girl like this. This is a good text to send. And I felt really good about it to the point where I just had total confidence in it. Cause I knew that whoever I got it from, they, did so many that they knew that this was gonna work. And it fucking plummeted, it did. It plummeted simply because it wasn't real. It wasn't connected to the moment for real. It was just something I was using because I felt like it would work. And then a woman sent me that text and of course, you know, like, you know how that went. Never ever did I see her or even she didn't even text again after that, no way. I literally, I think I sent something else. Like, I'm sorry, that was just something I was trying, like a text. She still didn't send me nothing back. It was just too weird for her. True excitement is the realness of what happened. True excitement is the realness of the energy that you and her had. I'm always excited. Every single time, I am. Why would I not be excited? I mean, we met each other, everything went well, it did. She's different. I know that it takes a certain type of woman to be open to seeing a man. Why wouldn't I be excited? But that's different than eagerness. I'm not attached to a story. I'm not thinking in my mind, I'm gonna have sex with this girl. Maybe I feel in that moment, I want to, because when we met each other, I felt so turned on by her. Maybe I feel that. But I'm not thinking in my mind, we're gonna have sex. I'm not thinking in my mind, oh my God, okay, when we meet each other, it's gonna be like this. She already said yes, so it's gonna be amazing. I'm not thinking any of that. It's just, I wanna see this girl. She's fucking great. She looks so amazing to me. There's nothing wrong with that. That's the truth. That's realness. That's you being in reality. The story takes you away from things. So when you're coming from the place of excitement, you feel the good energy there inside of you, but you sense something very differently. You don't sense something like, lovely to meet you, like I was telling you before, lovely to meet you, da 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 da. Um, what time do you wanna meet? Um, I think it ate it sounds good, is this good for you? You don't send things like that because the story isn't built. So you just know, okay, this is the girl I like and I wanna see her again. What is the way that I want to text this woman so that we can see each other? Okay, we were there for a while, so I'm going to send something that's a little bit more meaningful. Okay, we were there for only a little bit, so I'm going to send something a little bit more flirtatious and playful. You start to get the feel on things. You start to go, okay, that girl was great, and I do want to see her again. But when you're looking at it, you go, maybe sending her this in the first text is wrong. I should send it to this center in the next text. And sometimes, let's be, let's be true, you haven't had enough experience for you to even know what the first text is saying that's gonna be good. Yeah, I, I get that. And the same thing with me, I didn't know what was good to send, but as, as time was going along, I started to figure it out. And I started to get advice, and I started to go to people who are better than me, 
And so to the point now where I can be able to fill into what I should send for the first text. For you, you want to come from a place of excitement. That's what you want to come from. Excitement is the realness of what actually happened. Eagerness is the, the feelings there, but attachment of the story. That's the difference. And the woman feels different from a man who's excited than a man who is eager. This is going to help you so much when it comes to sending that first text. And I've, if I want to give you something right now, just a little bonus for you to be able to go send better text, the, the first text that's better, I would say send texts that are specific to what happened between you and her when you were there. Send specific text, which means if the girl was very, very light, if she was very, very playful, send a text that's more playful. If she was much more flirtatious and, 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 and fucking witty, send something more flirtatious and witty. Let's say that you guys were, the conversation, everything was fun and it was witty, send something more like that. Let's say that you had a really deep and meaningful conversation with a woman, you can send a text that's more deep and meaningful. You're starting to understand the energetic feel, <clears throat> the being able to get the woman to access her memories through her feelings, because that's how she's going to do it. Much different than a man, we could, we could just go, that girl was hot, I remember she was like this, and she was like this. She's going, I felt like this around him, oh, I remember that. Because now the feeling is accessing the memories for her. The same feel that you guys had in a conversation, use that same thing through the text. And as you do that, she will be able to remember you energetically, not remember you logically. Like men want women to do. They want them to remember them logically instead of energetically or emotionally. This is the difference. I hope that gave you guys so much on how to send the first text when you meet a woman. Be excited, send something that's more of the energetic feel of how you and her were talking and interacting and from there you're on your own <sighs> thank you for tuning in with yours truly tony solo please subscribe because when you subscribe you'll be able to get my stuff that i put out five days a week and if some of that stuff don't resonate with you great other things will resonate with you on my channel share this with others please share it because this shit is true i'm coming to new york city I am. November 4th, I'm coming to New York City to give a talk on that day. So please be looking for the tickets that's coming out next week for that. I'm also coming to San Francisco and Toronto. I didn't forget about you guys. I'm coming to San Francisco December 2nd. I'm going to come to Toronto November 18th. I'll be giving talks on these days. If you want to remember, look up in the banner. Or if you're not a part of my secret list, I would say, that I have of guys, then you want to click in the link below and that will take you straight to something for you to put in your email to look at a free course. You can choose to look at it or not, but at least you'll be a part of my free list that I send exclusive things throughout the week to. And in the meantime, I've created a free seduction course for you. Everything from meat to bedroom. That's everything from what do you do from the approach all the way, what do you do to when you have the woman in front of your doorstep and how to get her upstairs. upstairs. Totally free for you, and like I always say, who you are is valuable for that which you want, in life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. I see you in a few days, my man.